Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into the video on this 2018 Chevrolet Silverado. This particular Silverado is the 1500. It is the uh, LT trim level, which is the middle trim level for the Silverado. It's gonna be above the work truck and LS, but below the LTZ and high country. It's gonna give you a nice mix of affordability, but with some interior equipment that's gonna make you comfortable and help you really enjoy this truck. Starting off here in the front, the LT does give you a full chrome uh, front end, chrome front bumper, chrome grill surround. Of course, you do have fog lights inlaid into the lower bumper, as well as the upgraded high intensity headlamps. Coming around to the side, you're gonna see a 17-inch alloy wheel wrapped up with a Cooper Discover STT Pro tire. It's a pretty aggressive tire, gonna give you some awesome off-road traction, but of course it does come with uh, the background of the Cooper tire brand, which is a great tire brand. It's not just some cheap knobby tire. Uh, those are probably 250 bucks a piece, so really nice off-road tires there. Do have a five-inch chrome running board here. It is a true north edition Silverado does give you uh, the dual power front seats, heated seats, and a remote start. So it's essentially a upgraded convenience package and some really cool looking badging on the side. It does have these aftermarket tow mirrors here, but if you've already looked at the video, you will know that the factory white regular old mirrors are with the truck. They're nicely bagged up in the back seat in great condition. If you didn't want those tow mirrors, you could easily just flop them back or uh, flop the factory ones back on, or we could do that for you uh, before purchase. It does have some ABS chrome vet visors above the windows there. The bed on Chevy Double Cab's common question now is, uh, what is, you know, what's the bed length? Can you get an eight foot? You know, what is the bed length on a double cab truck? And on the Chevy truck, there is only one bed length on the double cab quarter ton truck or half ton truck. It is the six and a half foot bed. So it's gonna be the longest bed length on a crew cab is the standard and only bed length offering on the extended cab trucks or double cab they call them now. You do have the four tie downs, one in each corner. It does have a spray and bed liner in there as well. Looking at the rear bumper here, of course you have these steps on either side of the bumper to help you get in and out of the uh, bed area. You also have the two inch hitch receiver and both four and seven pin wiring located right here. That seven pin wiring does lead to an integrated trailer brake on the inside of the cab in case you want to tow a trailer that has electric brakes. Let me show you real quick. Those factory mirrors are bagged up sitting there on the back seat. Power windows, locks, and mirrors uh, located in a standard fashion here on the driver door, as well as power child locks and window lockouts in case you have rear passengers. Um, you do have a full power adjustable driver's seat with lumbar. Like I said, that is both the driver and the passenger are full power and adjustable with the lumbar. It does have the all-weather mats down below. That integrated trailer brake is located here. Transfer case controls below that, and below that you have your instrument cl cluster brightness and your lighting controls. Coming into the inside of the cab, we do have two keys with this truck. Only one of them is here right now, but I know for a fact that there are two. Um, throw the key in, start it up. Super low miles for an 18, 25,000 miles. So it is out of time on its bumper-to-bumper uh, -bumper warranty. However, it does have factory powertrain warranty remaining until 60,000 miles. And we can add bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage back to the vehicle. On the left-hand side of the wheel, you're gonna see your cruise control items. On the right-hand side, you're gonna see your menu navigation. Coming into that center stack, you have that large touchscreen radio. Throw it in reverse there. Take a look at the backup camera and that predictive line that it has. Of course, uh, down below that, you're gonna see your dual zone automatic climate control. You can adjust this independently of each other or you can sync them together like they are now and they'll both move at the same temperature. Same temperature. You can hit the automatic button, it'll try to hold that temperature just like your house would. Heated seat controls are here. One of the, my favorite things about the Chevy heated seats is that you can heat just your back or you can heat uh, your seat base and the back, which is nice. Down below that, this is a flow through center console truck. Really makes it comfortable to sit in with both the driver and the passenger seat being full front buckets with this center, nice center console. You do have two uh, USB ports, two 12 volt power supplies, and a 115 volt AC power supply there as well. Lots of storage here in this. You got uh, this down here, your two cup holders. Of course, more storage in the center does have a wireless charger for your phone here. Uh, moving up, of course, all the OnStar buttons there on the uh, rear view mirror. On the inside of the glove compartment, obviously a lot of storage space in there. You do have that little gas filler there, helps you get past the anti-siphon device if you're dumping a can into the truck. Uh, and you also have the results of the multi-point inspection, which you can find in every vehicle here at All Things Automotive. Uh, the left, or excuse me, the tires are 16, 30 seconds all around, so tons and tons of life left on those tires. 
and the front brake pads are 15 30 seconds rears are 14 30 seconds so your common wearable parts are pretty much brand new in addition to that the truck has been given a fresh pennsylvania state inspection and an oil change before we jump out take a quick look at the carfax no accidents or damage reported to carfax uh really nothing to note on this carfax it's about as good as they get it's clean uh pretty blank nothing real exciting uh, you can see that All Things Automotive does have a 5 out of 5 with 19 verified reviews on Carfax. One thing I will note in the video, I said that these are aftermarket tow mirrors. The turn signal does not work in these tow mirrors. Um, it will never work. This truck doesn't have the hookups for it. Um, so if that's a problem, we can always, like I said, reinstall the factory mirrors. Last part of the video is to try to show any den dings, dents, or imperfections on the truck. Overall, I see a couple stone chips that have been touched up. One of them is right there. Coming across the front of this hood, really not much to see up here. That one stone chip on the driver's side is definitely the, the main one. Wheels are in good condition. One little mark right there. Continuing back this side, really not, nothing to see over here as well. Of course, on this tailgate, across the top of the tailgate rail here, there's just some scratches from things being slid in and out of the bed. Very normal wear and tear on a pickup, and it's really not bad at all on the inside of the bed. Bed's clean, it's not all banged up, dented up, nothing like that. Coming up this side looks fairly clean as well. If you're looking for a great low mileage truck, gives you excellent interior amenities at an affordable price point, this is a great option for you. Stop out and check us out. 21518 Great Cove Road in McCollinsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at allthingsautomotive.com or give us a call, 717-485-4224. Hope you found the video to be informative.